about buying bioengineered food or food that has bioengineered food products in it, okay? I recently did a video showing you that some of these products have bioengineered food in it and we don't know where to find the information at on the label. If it has bioengineered food in it, it should be listed with the ingredients because it's something that's in it, but it's not. It's listed somewhere else on the packaging. And personally, I believe that going forward, we may not even be able to get rid of or not buy very many things that do not have bioengineered food in it. Hello, Ola Joe. Welcome into the chat. But we have to make wise decisions. In that video, I even mentioned how potatoes, whole foods like potatoes can be bioengineered, okay, or have bioengineered products in them. You can't get any better than buying something that's whole food. That means we have to be extremely wise and strategic in what we buy and how we buy it, all right? Uh, coming along, we may not be able to buy very much. But the one thing that we can all do is to make sure that we're not buying processed on top of bioengineered or bioengineered on top of price process. I mean, if you're going to buy a whole food and it's a potato and it has bioengineered products in it, you can't get any better than that. The only other way is to grow your own. And even when growing your own, depending on where you live at, they could be spraying something that's getting in your crops. Unless you have a solarium type of greenhouse and you can control your water source 100%, and you are growing organically and you're not using any chemicals and you know every inch of your soil and what's in your soil, chances are you can grow your own and still end up with something that has by, oh, thank you, Ola Joe, for that hat. I saw that hat going up. Thank you for that gift. You can still end up growing your own and have it have bioengineered in it, all right? Now, there's two things I want to show you this evening. And one, most people feel that, number one, all corn is bioengineered one way or another. All right? Not necessarily so. You see, there are some companies, some products, some brands that still produce corn that is non-GMO. All right? I have one here and I want to show you this. This is Del Monte, okay? And right here on the label, it says non-GMO. So what does that tell me? <laughs> this is non, okay? And it's corn. It's corn, okay? It's, it's even a cream style corn, all right? See that? But what this tells me is that when I go to the store, I need to research. I can't go in the store anymore and say, oh, I want this brand or I'm just going to grab this. Hey, hey, how you doing? Just me. How are you, everybody? Welcome in. I can't go in the grocery store anymore and pick up anything without reading the label. And the sad thing about it is the labels are not clear. Now, if you watch that video, which I'll pin in this comment, in this live, and I'll have it in the description as well in the pinned comment. But if you watch the other full length bioengineered video, you will see I show you products that have the bioengineered statement listed on it in inconspicuous places. One of them has a, there's a color line on it. It fades from orange to yellow or yellow to orange or something like that. And the statement that says this product contains bioengineered food is written right on that fault line of the color, okay? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I could not have read it. There's no way, all right? 
The only reason I saw it was because I was specifically looking for it because I knew that product was bioengineered. And I'm like, by law, you need to have it on here. Where is it? It took me about 10 minutes to find it. I went over that bag off, up top to bottom, side to side. I couldn't find it because it's very faint. And because it's on that fault line, you can't see it. You can't see it. It looks like little dots or something. All right? So we have to make sure we look at the products. You cannot read the ingredients and say, it doesn't say bioengineered. You need to read the package. Turn the package over. Flip the package upside down. Look on the side of the box. And if necessary, if you have a suspicion that it has bioengineered products in it, Google it. Look it up before you actually purchase, especially if it is a processed food, all right? Now, bags of potatoes, some of them may say contains bioengineered products. But what about our potatoes that are in the bin? And this is not the only food. Apples, too. Apples, too. And many fruits and vegetables that are whole foods. If they're sold in a bag, the bag might state it. But what about all those that are on the floor in the large bins? And we just go and we select the ones that we want individually. There is no signage. And I'm not exactly sure how they're getting away with that. Because if it needs to be labeled, it needs to be labeled. The bin needs to be labeled or the little price tag needs to be labeled. Something. <laughs> Look at that moose gift. Yes, I know. The moose. The face on that moose, if you all saw it. Thank you for that gift. I appreciate that. If you don't see it, don't just assume it doesn't have it in there. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you something else. A lot of people buy these gravy packages and other packages. This is a, I picked this up because I saw it in the store. This happens to be a pork gravy, but you can buy any kind. Just brown gravy. All of these packages when I was in the store, did not say in plain writing, in English, in whatever language, it did not say, written out in letters, bioengineered product. But I'm going to tell you, they, I found out, they don't have to specifically say it, write it out. They have to indicate it on the package. And they have multiple symbols, but the one I'm getting ready to show you is the main one. You see this right here? I don't know if you all can read that, but it says bioengineered product. Now this symbol right here, right there, that symbol is typically green and white and yellow. It has this green, this should be green, this should be yellow, and then I guess this can be whatever color, but it doesn't have to be. It just needs to be on there. This is in black and white, as you can see, okay? It's not written on here. If you just pick this up and look at it, you're going to probably read this long list of ingredients. And this is a type of processed food I'm talking about don't buy. You don't need a gravy mix. This gravy mix, I don't even know how many ingredients it has in here. I'm not about to read all these, but I'm pretty sure something in here is just as bad or worse than the bioengineered part of it, okay? Get you some flour, some water, Stir it up until it's brown, <laughs> add some seasoning, let it thicken, and you're done. I even have a video showing you how to make brown gravy, just like this brown gravy, with onions if you cannot consume flour. There's multiple ways of doing it, okay? I didn't know about this, okay? I hadn't paid any attention to it. This is not the only symbol. This is the only one I could find. But if you Google bioengineered symbols, you'll see quite a few of them. They're required to put, they're required to label the packaging, but not specifically how, okay? And so that little symbol right there, tell me right now in the chat, how many of you all would have 
paid attention to that circle down there as something being bioengineered. Would you have just read the ingredients and looked on the package and said, oh, I don't see it, all right? Now, they clearly marked over here. You can see that right there. It says, no MSG. Okay, now why they couldn't put bioengineered as boldly as they put no MSG? Okay? <laughs> I would not have recognize that okay and i'm a label reader now do i read every label on everything all the time absolutely 100 percent not but technically i'm a label reader all right i'm not a shopper i don't want to go and buy clothes and stuff but the grocery store i can go in there and stay hours hours and come out with one thing because I'm reading. I love to read everything I can get my hands. I'm like, okay, I haven't seen this before. What's this got in it? Or I'm getting ready to buy it. What's this? Got? And now I'm reading even more. I'm reading even more because I want to be safe. And I'm telling you all this because I want you to be safe. All right? I did not notice this. Okay? Oh, I didn't notice it at all. All right? Ola Joe, if you could put the link to the um, bioengineered long form video that I did that explains that it's not in the ingredient list. I don't understand why it's not. If it's a bioengineered, if it has bioengineered food product in it, or if it's bioengineered food, why isn't that part of the ingredients? All right. But apparently it doesn't have to be. It just needs to be said thank you one way back home i appreciate that so i needed to come on here and let y'all see that and also to let you see that just because you think everything has bioengineered some products don't this is corn and i'm showing you this corn it says no preservatives grown in the usa non-gmo I'm showing you this corn because corn is one of the fearful things. People think, I don't eat any corn. Every corn, all corn is bioengineered. It's really not. You just got to find the ones that aren't. <laughs> okay? You have to. A couple of years ago, I grew my own corn. And I haven't done it since then because it just, for me personally, I don't eat corn enough. It took like a year. For that corn to grow. I don't know what I did wrong, but it took a long time, okay? So, <laughs> but I try to grow pretty much a little bit of everything at least once. Because if there ever becomes a time when I need to grow it, I'll know how, all right? So, yes, um, there is bioengineering degrees in 95 Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, we have to be wise. We may not can get away from it, but you don't have to buy bioengineered food on top of processed food, all right? So read the ingredients, learn to make what you are. And that's one more thing, and I'm gonna let you guys out of here. One more thing I wanna say, in making our own, everybody says, make your own, don't buy this, don't buy that. I personally believe, and this is my own thought, but I personally believe that even in making our own, we must absolutely 100% pay attention to the products that we buy to make our own, okay? We can't just say, okay, I'm gonna make my own cream sauce, but what's in the products that you're buying to make the cream sauce? You cannot make it out of air. You have got to buy products to make that cream sauce, to make that soup. We, in the video, I talk about the Campbell soup and the Progresso soup. You're going to make your own soup. Well, you're going to make potato soup. Well, you better make sure the potatoes you buy are bioengineered. You could have just bought the can of soup. All right? So even though we're going to make our own more, we have to, we have to pay attention to the products that we buy to make our own. All right? You guys, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.